and welcome back to another video on what Ewan's doing. Now today we've got another football video, more specifically Hartman Lovian, and we're going to take a trip down memory lane to the biggest game of the club's history ever. The Vries at the goal line goes to ground the cross and we are yes! No, not that one. Now he finds Stevenson! Oh, it's unbelievable! No, not that one. <laughs> Schedule waiting! Rudy Schedule! No, not that one. Which one was it again? And, and Darren Ball! Ominous! Danny Granger! Schedule! And Rudy That's the one. I completely forgot about it myself. So yes, we're going to be travelling back to the 19th of May 2012 in the Scottish Cup final between Hearts and Hibs. Now, unless you're not aware of Scottish football or you're a Hibs fan that has been sitting under a rock, you will know that Hearts were victorious in their win, beating Hibs 5-1 and winning the Scottish Cup in the biggest game of both clubs history. So let's dive straight into it. This is the Scottish Cup final 2012. Hearts team, where are they now? <laughs> Now we're going to be starting off with none other than our goalkeeper, Jamie McDonald. So, Jamie McDonald signed for Hearts back in 2007 and was a very consistent goalkeeper for the seven seasons he was with Hearts. He pulled off some magnificent saves during some really important games, especially against Hibs as well, and he was a really good goalkeeper and a very safe pair of hands. And today he plays for Rafe Rovers under ex-Hearts boss, John Miglin. Now next up in the Hearts defensive line we have got fan favourite Ryan McGowan. So the Australian born defender signed for Hearts back in 2008 where he spent five seasons with Hearts. He also scored that fantastic rebound header in the Scottish Cup final and celebrated like he just won 10 million quid. Back into contention, Granger takes this, Schedule! They've scored again! Ryan McGowan's having that one! After Elliot helped it on! Since then, Ryan McGowan has went on to play for a number of clubs from all around the world. And now he's back in his home country, playing for Sydney FC. So next up in the defence, we have got Andy Webster. When he came back to Hearts in 2011, I thought it was a brilliant signing to bring him back. A very key figure and a very experienced player on the park. For the remainder of his career, he spent two seasons down at Coventry City. And then finally, he came back up to Scotland and played for St Mirren, where then after, he retired. Next up, we've got another fan favourite in the defence, Danny Granger. So again, Danny played a very pivotal role in the Scottish Cup final where he scored the penalty that put Hearts 3-1 up. Season, but here's Danny Granger! He scores! So he signed from St Johnston back in 2011 and he spent two seasons with the Jam Tarts. And now to the present day, he is now the manager for Workington down in England. So now we move on to the midfield to Darren Barr. So as you well know, Darren Barr opened the scoring in the Scottish Cup final against Hibs with one of the best celebrations I've ever seen from a Hearts player. McGowan. McGowan had a swing at it, and again. And Darren Barr seizes the moment, seizes the Cup final. Darren Barr signed from Falkirk back in 2010 and spent three seasons with the Jambos. In 2013, Darren Barr left Tynecastle and then played for a number of Scottish clubs throughout the rest of his career. And he is now currently the Annan Athletic assistant coach. So now we move on to the pacey Spanish winger, Suzo Santana. Now throughout his time at Hearts, I actually really liked Suzo Santana. He had lots of skill, great on the ball, fast paced winger, the whole package and also winning the penalty in the Scottish Cup final as well. Does brilliantly, but the tug is there and the contact is outside as well. You know, it's a free kick and it might have been a second yellow, 
but it's not a penalty. Yes, it was a definite penalty. A hundred percent definite penalty. Why? And Suso Santana has actually been at the same club since he left Hearts, which is Tenerife, and is still playing at 35 years old. Now we come to another fan favourite in the central midfield position, Ian Black. I always thought Ian Black was a very key player during his time at Hearts, very aggressive, always went after loose balls, and always pushed his team up the park. He joined Hearts from Inverness Caledonian Thistle on a pre-contract in 2009. He then went on to play for Rangers after the Scottish Cup final in 2012 where he spent three seasons with the Glasgow side. He then went to play on for quite a few clubs down south including Shrewsbury Town, Blackpool, Gelsmersdale, Chorley and then came back up to Scotland playing for Trinent Juniors and currently plays for Dunbar United. Now, next up, we have got a player who I'm pretty sure is from the Czech Republic, but I can't remember his name. <laughs> of course, it is Rudy Skatchel. Now, Rudy will always be a fan favourite and quite possibly a legend at the club and always seems to score against Hibernian FC. It's got to go in this time! One right back. Rudy now Rudy went on to score two goals in the Scottish Cup final and was his second Scottish Cup winner's medal with Hearts. Rudy was such a decorated player with a lot of experience throughout all the clubs he played for. Now after his second spell with Hearts, which ended in 2012 after the Scottish Cup final, he then went on to play for Dundee United with a squad number that does ring a bell from somewhere? I have no idea what it could be, but we'll move on. He then returned to the Czech Republic, playing out his last two seasons playing for FK Prybram, and is then where he retired in 2019. Rudy Skatchel, thank you. We come on to another pacey winger that Hearts brought through the youth system, and that is Andrew Driver. He gradually got better and better as each season passed and then pretty much was always part of the start in the 11 when he was fit and gave a really good performance against Hibs in the final as well. And in 2013 he then went on loan to Houston Dynamo in 2013 which was made then permanent the next again season for a year. He then had a very brief spell with Aberdeen back in 2015 and then going on to play for De Scrapshot in the Netherlands in 2015 till 2018 where he is now retired. And now we come on to the last player in the starting 11 for Hearts which was striker Stephen Elliott. Now Stephen Elliott probably didn't get as much game time as he probably wanted but I bet he was glad he was part of the squad on the Scottish Cup final day. So Elliott spent two seasons with Hearts from 2010 till 2012 and then like some of the other players left Hearts after the Scottish Cup final win. He then went on to play for Coventry City for a season from 2012 till 2013. He then went on to join Danny Granger with, with Carlisle United in 2014. He then went back to Ireland and played for Shelbourne, Drogheda United and Morpeth Town where he then retired in 2018. Now, the last player on this team I've saved until last for very obvious reasons. It was our captain of the Scottish Cup final for Hearts, Marius Zaliukas. So back in 2006, Marius Zaliukas was loaned in from Vladimir Romanov's other team in Lithuania, FBK Kaunas. He then signed permanently from Kaunas in 2007 and played for Hearts for six seasons, eventually becoming the club captain and then becoming a firm fan favourite with the Tyne Castle Club. After winning the Scottish Cup final in 2012, he then played for Hearts for one more season. He then afterwards went down to England to sign for Leeds United. He played for one season from 2013 to 2014. He then came back to Scotland to play for Rangers for one season during 2014. He then returned to Lithuania to play for Zalgiris in 2016. On the 20th of October 2020, on the eve of the Scottish Cup semi-final against Hibs at Hampden Park, Marius Aliukas sadly died of motor neuron disease. 
It was such a devastating loss for Hart Midlovian and his fans for such a decorated and experienced player. Unfortunately, he had been suffering from the horrible disease since 2013, up until the day he unfortunately passed away. Now, on the day of the Scottish Cup final against Celtic at Hampden Park, each player had his squad number 26 on their shorts as a very fetching tribute to the defender. That was the Hart Midlovian 2012 Scottish Cup final team where are they now? Now as always thank you very much for watching this video if you did like it give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing for future football content and I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye for now.